can you use a cheap mic and mm. make a guitar sound great? Oh, definitely. Okay, and tell me, no like, what would you problem. do if, to, to, take, to, to accomplish that? What's well, your technique? So while I was touring Grandma's, a recording studio in Chatsworth owned by my friend and a great musician and engineer and producer, Andrew Bush, I thought I'd ask him a series of questions designed to help you as a guitarist get more from your recordings. Now that's, this is true whether you're recording in a studio or at home. If you're at home, it may be even more important to know some of the tips and tricks that can help you get great sound. Let's dive in. The holy grail of cheap mics is the SM57. The SM57 is used all day on guitar sessions, drum sessions, every once in a while a vocal session, believe it or not. I had a couple clients back in the 90s who sounded great on an SM57 <laughs> and really not so great on all my fancy Neumanns. It was kind of ridiculous. I'll tell a story, and this is from the mic manufacturer's perspective. The 57 is so legendary among dynamic mic manufacturers that I had the rep at the time from Electrovoice, which also makes fine microphones, uh, RE15, RE20, um, a more recent model, uh, the 868, is a phenomenal kick drum microphone, incredible microphone. And they, for pretty much the life of the company, has been trying to come up with their SM57, and they can't. <laughs> and the rep for Electrovoice was in my studio. He gave us a bunch of mics to try out, all great mics. None of them hit that bizarre magic combination that a 57 has. It has this really kind of obnoxious, kind of honky sound, this kind of weird nasal mid-range, but for whatever reason, on certain things, snare drums in particular, 412 rock guitar cabinets, and most guitar cabinets, frankly, and some people are big fans of them on toms. They're one of those mics you can stick on just about anything, and it'll sound good. It may not sound amazing, but it'll sound good, right? So yeah, so in terms of cheap mics, guitar amps, even, this is another, uh, uh, an engineer who's worked at my studio, uh, a guy called Joe Ciccarelli, incredible engineer. One of his tricks is an, an SM57, believe it or not, on an acoustic guitar, and pretty heavily compressed. Acoustic guitars are very smooth. And so when you put them in a rock track, they kind of wash out, right? So one of the tricks of an acoustic guitar in a rock track is how to get it to poke out. Well, SM57, amazing way to do that. So yeah, cheap mic, that's, that's the great cheap mic is the SM57. So this is exactly what I want to provide for yeah. people who watch my stuff.